Um, Barry, I want to come to you with that uh, benefits question. Um, you know, sorry to come, come for coming to you last. I'm sure it was going to be worth the wait. So, you know, what what do you see on the on the sort of the plus side of the equation? Sure, I'll take one of my um, uh, one of my use cases, and that's where people are coming to us because they've got a, a large aging estate, um, and they're looking to um, bring those up to the latest operating systems, latest applications, and so on and so forth. So when we're engaging with those type of customers, generally they've got a um, desktop infrastructure that has been growing organically for the last five years. Um, or, or maybe even more in certain use cases where uh, machines have been replaced like for like. So we've got situations where maybe all of the applications, the user data, and everything else that has been uh, existing on each user's PC um, is all amalgamated on the machine in front of them. So we've got a lot of complexity with every single user in an organization having their own identity, as it were. So what we try to do with them, um, with the, the view solutions, is be able to rationalize what is going on inside the organization. Normally, you can pinpoint either by a department or a, a job role what people are doing. And then using the pool functionality inside view, you're able to then simplify what the users are doing with uh, their desktop. So we've gone from having maybe an organization that maybe have 300 desktops, 1,000 desktops, 2,000 desktops, that each of them have their own identity, to getting them down to smaller pools, whether that is 10, 50, or 100 different pools. And the key benefit of once we've done that simplification and we've rolled out the desktops, we only then have to manage the smaller number, because we're effectively managing one image per pool that we can then roll out new applications to, we can roll out updates to. Um, so it allows you to be then a lot more flexible with what you're doing. You can uh, really attack those problems that you're getting on your help desk constantly from users. We're able to refresh those pools when a user logs out. So every morning when a user logs in, they're getting that new desktop feeling. So we're all used to that uh, experiencing that problem where your machine starts getting slower and slower and slower until you rebuild it. Well, that doesn't have to happen anymore. Once we're virtualizing the desktop, we just kill it when the user logs out. Everything else has been layered off, so the applications are somewhere else, the user persona is somewhere else, and it means that we don't have to look after the desktop like we would do in the physical world. And then we've got all the other lovely benefits, like bring your own desktop that you've mentioned, using different devices where we wouldn't normally be able to run those type of applications on an Apple device or an Android device, etc., which then just really add to the, the icing on the cake. 